Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Re-Energize Strength. So as you can see in the background, I do have a chair. I'm going to use that for one or two different exercises. We're not going to do anything seated just so we're clear on that. We're going to do a couple of things like push-ups and shoulder taps. So before we get into that, we'll do some standing exercises. I'm actually going to use the chair for the first thing. We're going to do a little lunge and knee. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to start with one leg, just one leg for a lunge and then bringing up for a knee. Now I'm going to stick with this same leg here for the lunge and the knee. We'll focus on the other leg in set two. So go down as low as you can and bring that knee up to about hip height. A lot of the work is going to be done in this leg right here, actually. As we bring ourselves up, we're going to use those muscles, squeezing the glutes and squeezing the quads in the front. Up, nearly done here. Last one. Excellent. Okay, moving on to our next exercise. We're going to be squeezing the back. We're going to get the rotator cuffs in for this one. So standing back here, we'll have our arms out in front, nice and straight. What we're going to do is take our elbows, bring them nice and wide with me, and then we're going to bring our arms up, down, and forward. So it's one, two, three, four, just like that. Squeeze the back, squeeze, squeeze, relax, squeeze, Squeeze, relax, keep it going. Holding that squeeze. If you wanna go a little bit slower so you can get a little more out of this exercise, you can. And watch those elbows here, make sure they're not too high. I'm gonna make sure that my elbows are never higher than my shoulders. Last one here. And good. For this next one, we're going to work the biceps here using body weight. I'm going to come a little bit closer for this one. So for 20 seconds, we'll take this hand and we're going to press our arm up against that hand to really get a good squeeze here. Act like you're trying to go past the hand, but it just won't let you. So squeeze, just like that. You can also get more out of this if you have a desk close by and you're going to bring your hands down and Act like you're trying to lift the desk off the floor. Get some resistance in for your biceps. Three, two, one. If you're like me and you're using your hands, let's switch sides and squeeze. So again, act like you're trying to curl against that resistant hand. Nearly done here, then we're gonna do some push-ups. Three, two, and one. Shaking up those arms. Okay, moving on. Double check here. All right, let's move on to our next exercise, the push-up. So I'm gonna grab my chair right by the arms, one foot in front, and I'm going to go down as low as I can into my push-up, all right? So with me, keeping the hips low, and again, I have my foot in front here, mainly to make this easier in the beginning for my push-up. When I get used to the form, then I can step back and really work my chest and my triceps during this time. So shoulders down, bring your shoulder blades together as you push down and up. Going down and up, a couple more. Last one here, and good. If you'd like, you can stand up real quick, shake out those arms, shake out the hands. We're gonna use the chair one more time, or if you wanna make it a little bit tougher, you can do this on the floor. We're simply gonna hold our position and do some shoulder taps. I think for this one, I'm gonna have my hands right on the seat, and tap, and tap. It's a little more sturdy that way with the chair. Try to do this with your feet about shoulder width apart or perhaps a little bit closer together so you can really challenge your balance. Do your best to keep your hips squared. What I mean by that is we're not going to twist the hip and twist. We're gonna keep this, the hips facing the floor or the chair the whole time. 
Eyes down towards the floor or the chair. Nearly done here. Couple more. Last one. And good. Standing back up. And we're going to go back to our first exercise, back to the lunge and the knee. So make sure you switch legs. I'm going to face the other direction a bit easier. Got one hand on the chair for balance. Taking a big step back. Three, two, one. Let's start with the lunge and the knee. Now you don't have to use a chair if you don't want to. So you can have your hands in front if you'd like or on your hips. Gonna make it a little bit tougher for balance, but if you're comfortable with it, go for it. Go down nice and low here. And remember, this front leg here is doing a lot of work. So squeeze the glutes and the quads in this leg to get the most out of this exercise. Couple more, five more seconds. And good. It's over. And let's go back to work in the back and the rotators. So arms in front, quick demo, elbows out, hands up, and reverse. Okay? So three, two, one. Squeeze the back, squeeze, squeeze, and good. Now, if you wanted to try this for yourself later on today, you can definitely do so. And if you want to use something like one to two pound weights to make it even more challenging, you can certainly do that. It's gonna make it a bit tougher for those rotator cuff muscles, which are often neglected. So if you feel like you're one of those people who neglects this kind of muscle, making it a little bit tougher in the shoulder area because of it, then you can definitely benefit from doing this kind of motion throughout your day. Last one, and good, shaking out those arms. Let's go back to working the biceps. So again, I'm gonna use my resistant hand and only work about halfway through for each arm. But if you have a sturdy desk, you wanna have it right under that desk and act like you're trying to tip it over, you can do that. So with me, ready, squeeze. Again, act like you wanna curl, but this hand just won't let you. 20 seconds on this side, so I'm gonna go extra tough here on myself. Three, two, one, switching arms real quick, and go. Got my elbow bent at about halfway or 90 degrees, as some would prefer to say. 10 more seconds, and we'll go back to push-ups. Only two exercises left after this one. Three, two, one, and good, shake it out. Okay, back to our push-up. Again, if you would like to start with one foot in front, making it a little bit easier for your push-up, you can certainly do so. And then step back once you get the hang of it. All right, so looking at the time, we've got three, two, one, let's begin. Try to go real low here. I'm using the arms of the chair to get that benefit of increasing my range of motion, going extra low into my push-up. Try foot back. I'm trying to get my shoulders right behind my hands as I go down. And I'm keeping my shoulder blades together even when I push back up. Looking at the time, got about 10 seconds left. Let's try three more. One, two, last one, and three. Standing up real quick, let's shake out those hands. And we're gonna go back to shoulder taps. Try to have your feet about shoulder width apart or closer together for this one. All right, very last one. Going in, three, two, one, begin. Tap those shoulders. For this very last one, if you want to pick up that pace a little bit, you certainly can. You got about 30 seconds left, and that'll be the end of class today. Halfway through, about 20 seconds left. Keeping that core tight. A lot of core work here. 
Deep breathe in. Again, no twist in the hip here. No twist in the hip. Nearly done. Couple more. And good. Standing up. Shake out the arms. Shake out the legs. Is that, that is everything for today, everybody. So thank you for joining me. If you would like to see this later on, we will have a recording of this later. So don't worry about that. And if you have any questions or comments for me, you can either leave them in the chat or you can stay online a little bit longer and we can talk face to face. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Weekend's coming up. So I hope you have an amazing weekend. Take care.